friends please like subscribe and ring the icon bell share with your friends and family good thank morning, you so good much good afternoon good evening hope everybody is doing fine and before moving on to my recipes if you do like my recipes please do press the like button share with your friends please do share your comments because these are very important and uh, please do subscribe and uh, my name is rajini sharma madam so what's cooking in the kitchen before we move on to the recipe i would like everyone to follow my gardening rest uh, gardening uh, videos because they are very very uh, useful from the seed to the cuttings you have everything so i would request everyone to have small two uh, pots to make your home beautiful and not much of maintenance that is one is with the tora or the rb plant the other one is beetle leaf so i have shown you tora stems leaves so many recipes regarding tora and my beetle leaf recipes they are very simple and with the yummy so the plants are very very simple and they are very very easy to maintain you can have your home recipes made the sweet laddus made out of uh beetle leaf so before wasting much of time i would like to move on to my uh, today's recipe that is papaya papaya again it's very very useful it's the most healthiest fruit ever which is not commonly known to everyone whether it is raw or ripen both are equally useful so whenever you are having digestion problems please do have papaya so movie is regarding the kamita bachan's movie is piku has come so please do follow and uh, really believe me papaya is good for diabetics and digestion so but today we are going to make with raw papaya raw papaya recipes you have in abundance they taste yummy yet they are very simple to make so because without wasting much of time let's move to the recipe what i have done is i have go i have cut the papaya i peeled the papaya removed the skin and scooped out all the seeds from inside cut them into small cubes and i have just boiled them in the open pan but if you are boiling in the cooker it's one whistle is sufficient so i have just boiled them and what are the other ingredients uh, you will be needing four to five red chilies a uh, quarter spoon cumin seeds and few peanuts then you have two spoons of sesame seeds then again for tempering you need the curry leaves the whole gram dal black dal without skin then you have green chilies it's up to your choice again then you have the mustard seed salt to taste um turmeric red chili powder and cumin again and little oil to the pan i will add a little oil just two to three spoons of oil will do thing heat it up we will add the urad dal that is a uh, black gram dal without skin this is the common dal used for tempering in fact it is used in every south indian dish so this will be going inside first because it takes a uh, few minutes extra dal is pink when the dal is pink in color you can add the mustard seeds quarter spoon so please keep watching the video till the end because i will add one more thing so after when the mustard splutters you can add you can just slow down the gas add curry leaves whenever you are adding mustard seeds please be away from the gas it may splutter so now we are going to add the green chilies cut into big cubes and then stir it for 5 more minutes please add one red chili roast it for 1 to 2 minutes yeah this now the important part is we are going to add onions cut in this shape they give you a restaurant taste and they look yummy so please cut them in this shape so now i'm just going i have taken two onions 
cutting of the onions also have a great place in cooking. If you grind them, you have different taste. If you uh, grate it, if they have a different taste. If you cut them in slices, long slices, it's a different taste. So, the cutting of onion also plays a great role. So, now till they become transparent, let us move. Our onions are getting roasted. Till then, we'll make a spice powder. We have peanuts, sesame seeds, red chilies, whole red chilies and cumin. So, what we'll be doing is adding the peanuts first. Dry roast all the things. We're going to dry roast. This masala is very important. You can make in huge quantities and store it. And you can add in your different recipes. Like potatoes, yam, or mali kalang. So many other things like chudip papaya. So this powder is very, very tasty, yummy. It's actually a South Indian uh, powder. We're going to dry roast them. And after five minutes, we will grind them after cooling them. Never use the hot ingredients into your mixie. Please do cool them. This is for the beginners. Please do cool whatever you're grinding that is hot. At this stage, I'll be adding salt. In the beginning, I'll be adding very little salt. Because you cannot take out the salt. Then I will be adding the red chilli. Very a uh, uh, quarter spoon. Less than quarter turmeric. Then you have salt. So, we'll mix it. I will be adding papaya which is boiled. Wow, it's so yummy. So, I'll be adding this mixture which I have grinded coarsely. So, I'll be adding two spoons, two big spoons. So, the rest I'll be storing because this can be used for other things. So two spoons will do little water so that your spices get a little very little water. I think we'll be needing more of uh, powder, so I might add one more spoon, one big spoon. So that is sufficient. So see till the Coating is done, proper coating is done. You can add the nut powder. Even if it is extra to your dish, no problem because this is only the peanut, all the nuts. It gives you, it gives the taste to the dish. So just see. Wow, it is so yummy. And before I could say it's yummy, let me taste the salt because salt is the thing which actually decides the dish is tasty or not. So I will be taking one cube and taste it. It is hot. Oh, let me wait for some time. Mm. It is juicy and tasty, but you need little salt. So I will be adding Little more salt because as I have told you always, add salt, very little salt in the beginning. And at the end, you can add salt to your taste. So we can close the lid for 2-5 to five minutes. Let the masalas go into the papaya. And the dish is ready to serve. So it's ready to serve. So the dish is ready. It's hot and yummy. Crunchy and it is very very tasty. The masala is very very tasty. You can try out this recipe and please do follow. If you like this recipe, please do make it at home and if you like it, please do subscribe. My name is Rajni Sharma. So with simple papaya, you can make.